All right, guys. Um, I'm going to get started on the MCV here. Went to drain the hydraulic oil, and the plug in the back uh, under the differential is rounded out, which is awesome. And the two small ones are both, uh, one of them's got part of a socket busted off in it, and the other one won't budge. So I got to drill a hole through the plug. Uh, the oil finally drained out, and uh, hopefully I can drill it out the rest of the way and just put a new plug in it. Um, So real quick here, well, I'll just go through what I had to take off to uh, get ready to remove this from the tractor. Obviously, the steps, battery box, all that kind of stuff I think I showed you guys earlier. Um, <clears throat> but starting right up at the top, there is a uh, pivot there for the uh, TA spool. Um, so I took that pin out and then pulled the linkage out of here. We've got the pressure line to the brakes. You have to take the connecting rod to the dump valve from the clutch bell crank to the dump valve that has to come off the wire that is for your uh, hydraulic pressure sensor has to come off <clears throat> and then you get down to the bottom there's a line right there that comes off and then your oil cooler lines so those are the lines that come off um, now we'll go ahead and uh, remove this whole assembly from the tractor all right guys we're in the middle of lambing right now so i'm doing the best i can to get video while i'm working on this too um, <clears throat> right now I'm just cleaning some of the old gasket off of that MCV or yeah multiple control valve MCV um, I've got all of the pieces laid out here they're all numbered to match the shop manual uh, I got all new the new o-rings installed on them all over already um, just gotta basically get it cleaned up get them all put back together uh, and then get all the, the pump and everything bolted back on and all that fun stuff so uh, right now we're just kind of in the cleanup process uh, big thing is when you take this apart um, there's a lot of little springs and stuff like that in there um, make sure you got them labeled somehow you know like here I've got them all numbered based on what the number is in the shop manual um, <clears throat> make sure you don't get that kind of stuff intermixed um, because it is all different and then the other thing is uh, this is a little check valve right here um, there's a little spring on there that's about the size of a pen spring or is there supposed to be um i lost mine uh, i was able to get it from case ih for like two three bucks so it is still available um but just be aware of that if that happens to come out while you're disassembling it and you don't catch it uh there is supposed to be a spring there so i'm going to keep cleaning the gasket off on this now uh, there's really nothing exciting about that so i'm not going to videotape it um just a lot of work scraping all the old stuff off uh, but then we'll get it put back together, and then I still got to tackle the drain plug issue. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I just wanted to throw this on at the end of the video. Um, boy, that plug was tough to get out of there. Uh, I finally got it out. Uh, I ended up drilling a big hole in it and getting my biggest extractor and then I had to heat the piss out of it with a uh, torch uh, that I borrowed from my father-in-law's shop. So, uh, God, I wasn't, for a little while there, I wasn't sure it was coming out. I heated it up a little bit and and uh, got, my, got my bar on there and it wouldn't go and I put my impact on there and it wouldn't go. And uh, so then I pulled the torch back out and got it burning a little hotter and uh, heated it up again and by god it just come right out so uh i'm gonna run the torch back now let things cool down and then we'll throw the new plug in there and fill her up with oil and then uh from there we'll be able to find out if we have any leaks on our mcv that we sealed up and uh then a lot of the mechanical work on this thing is going to be done uh at least as far as what i'm going to do steering motor still leaks a little bit but we're going to have to live with that for now so uh, thanks guys. Uh, look back for more video and we'll be taking the tractor to dad here real soon. So I'll be able to get all this video posted up on the internet for you.